IFC normally is investing money in funding uh, countries which are considered to be the developing ones, not necessarily the developed ones, uh, among them Greece. So what exactly was the initiative and the incentive, if you like, to give money to Greece and uh, to specific Greek companies? So indeed, IFC is the private sector arm of the World Bank Group. We are traditionally known uh, for being a development institution, but of course the, the countries in which we invest are many and are facing different uh, development challenges or, or different challenges where you know IFC can, can come in and help. In the case of Greece, we re-engaged after 20 or 30 years um, because the country was indeed facing uh, a crisis and facing some very specific challenges where our, our private sector mandate was uh, deemed helpful by the government to come in and, and kickstart growth again and lending to the private sector and assistance to the SMEs. So we are uh, in, uh, in Greece uh, re-engaging for a, a temporary uh, time, we suspect three to five years. This is what uh, the approval we have from our board and we will reassess that when, when that period is over. Could you please name a few of the companies that you know come to mind, the ones that you have invested or funded from the Greek community? Absolutely. So IFC is a long-standing partner of Greek uh, financial institutions and Greek companies. Traditionally, we have obviously engaged with them outside Greece. So we have about a half a billion invested with companies such as uh, Chipita, which uh, we helped when they went to Turkey, or Titan Cement that we have uh, actually invested in uh, several times in their expansion outside Greece uh, and now since about a year we can also uh, intervene directly on the Greek market so um, I think our landmark transaction so far is having been part of the uh, recapitalization of the Greek uh, banks in which we you know participated in all fee fee four banks uh, all the four systemic banks uh, with the objective of stabilizing the financial sector given the important role it plays in the country. What could we expect from the IFC in terms of the you know, future years to come with regards to investments or any other money that will support any startup businesses or any businesses that want to expand their activities? Yes, absolutely. I think in the, from the side of IFC, we do not see our role so much in uh, maximizing how much IFC itself can invest in Greece. We very much see our mandate as helping to restore Greece as an investment destination for international investors and international banks. So very much where we want to intervene is help send uh, this, this invest, get the investor confidence back and mobilizing other investors uh, to come uh, back into the country. So half a billion dollars, it's a huge amount of money, should we be expecting more money? Well, this all depends on uh, the opportunities that uh, we can find. Obviously, we are very actively engaged in uh, helping, I mean, in trying to build a, a pipeline and engaging with many different uh, companies, both Greek and international companies, um, for their expansion and growth plans in, in Greece. And finally, could you please comment on Capital Link's contribution and the organization of such an event uh, like this one? Uh, it's an excellent event. We're very happy to be here today. I thought the uh, discussion uh, was, was really very interesting, in particular having all the IFIs active in Greece sitting on the same panel. Actually, what became very clear to me is that uh, we are very, very complementary to each other and have different competitive advantages to bring, but all obviously with the objective of trying to get the country back into sustainable growth and, and helping the Greek entrepreneurs to be part of that. Mm -hmm.